myself, Professor Pawar B.K. from Department of Geography, JET Art Science and Commerce College for Women, Malegao. On behalf of this video presentation, I welcome you all. Under the scheme, assistance is given to voluntary organizations working in the field of child and women welfare. India observes Universal Children's Day on 14th November every year, a birthday of late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the Prime Minister of India. The National Child Awards for Exceptional Achievement is given every year, instituted in 1996. Now, we will see the awards related with child welfare. Which awards are given for child welfare? Several awards have been established by the Government of India related with child welfare. For example, first award, National Child Award for Exceptional Achievements established in 1996 includes one gold medal and 35 silver medals. Second is National Award for Child Welfare instituted in 1979 includes cash price of Rs 3 lakh and a certificate given to five institutions and three individuals. Number third is Raju Gandhi Mano Seva Award instituted in 1994 cash prize of rupees 1 lakh given to individual on birth anniversary of late prime minister mr rajiv ji gandhi that is on 20th august award of 2003 was given to mrs anina joseph of kerala now we'll see the next subunit of the topic that's women's welfare government of india is making arduous efforts for the uplift of women in the country because it believes that no progress is possible after suppressing their welfare. Some of the major objectives considered by the government are number one, to educate women to combat their problems. Number two, to provide legal and financial assistance for their education. Number third, to make women self-reliant. Number four, to create confidence and awareness regarding women's status, health, nutrition, education, sanitation and hygiene, legal rights economic upliftments. Number five, to involve women in local leveling planning. Number six, to provide facilities and assistance to adopt family welfare programs. Number seven, to support women for welfare, health and education of their children. Number eight, to support and rehabilitation of women in difficult circumstances. Number nine, to train them about environmental protection. Number 10, to provide training and skills to facilitate them to obtain employment or self-employment on a sustainable basis. Number 11, to make care of women from weaker sections of the society. Number 12, to educate them to learn and fight for their rights. Number 13, to train them to participate equally with men towards the development of the country, etc. According to 2001 census, 498.7 million, that is near about 48.2 women live in India. For the social and economic upliftment and empowerment, Government of India carries out following programs. First program carried out is Support to Training and Employment Program, abbreviated as STEP for women started from 1986-87 and during the year 2004 Five benefit to 13,000 women has been given. Number two is Swalamban program was launched in 1982-83. The objective is to provide training and skills to develop self-employment on a sustainable basis. Number three is Swayamsiddha is an integrated project based on formation of women into self-helping groups that is abbreviated as SHG. By December 2004, some 59,940 SHGs have been formed in the various parts of the country. Number 4 is So Shakti project, also called as Rural Women Development and Empowerment Project, is supported by World Bank and RFAD, that is the International Fund for Agricultural Development, and is run in 9 states of the country. Number 5 is Working Women's Hostels are being set up in the country to provide assistance to NGOs, co op bodies and other agencies during the year 2004. An amount of rupees 4.82 crore was sanctioned under this scheme. Some 850 such hostels 
have been finally developed by the end of 2006-7. Number 6 is Swadhar scheme was launched in the year 2001-2002 for the benefit of women in the difficult circumstances.